Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about offset and limit concept in API. Okay, what is that? What are their importance? How to programmatically use them? All these concepts I am going to discuss. Okay, and this concept is very important if you are working not only as API developer, but also it is important if you are working in data engineering domain. Okay, because many times data engineers get some API to fetch the data. Okay, and if their offset and limit concept is there, then you have to use them very wisely to extract the complete data from the source and whatever semi-structured JSON response you will be getting, you have to flatten them out, make a structured format and then basically you have to load in destination that can be data warehouse, S3 data lake or something like that sort. Okay, so for data engineers or maybe for API developers, any person related to this kind of domains, this particular discussion would help. Okay, right. So let's try to understand what are those. Okay. So for this discussion purpose, I have taken a dummy URL and here basically if we just hit, we will be getting some dummy data. Okay, right. I will share this URL with you. So here you can see these are JSON elements. So album ID, then ID, title, URL and thumbnail URL is present. Okay, ID is kind of unique identifier for each element. As you can see here, ID is 1. For next element, ID is 2. For next element, ID is 3. For next element id is 4 and so on it is basically keep on going to id 5000 that means total 5000 records are available in this particular get request okay as a response right now let's try to understand what is limit and offset concept okay so the limit parameter controls maximum number of items that may be returned for a single request okay so it is same like what we apply in sql query okay when we do select star from table 1 limit 10 that means what we are basically restricting the result set from the table 1 to only 10 rows okay so that's the same concept what is applied in api that is limit parameter can control maximum number of items that may be returned in a single request if you are putting limit 10 then only 10 items in a single request you will be getting if you are putting limit 20 that means 20 items you will be getting in a single request like that okay very simple and then what is offset the offset is simply indicating the number of records you wish to skip before selecting records okay what is offset let us try to understand with one example it will be much more clear when i will show you this example and the practical implementation okay so suppose total in our source system from where we have to fetch the data using API, there are total 15 records are there. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, like that 15. Okay. So in step 1, what we can do? We can start from offset 0 and limit 5. Okay. What it is indicating? That means I want to skip no record. Okay. Offset 0 means what? Offset 0 means I will start from beginning. Right. I want to skip no record before selecting records okay so i will start from beginning and then limit 5 is basically indicating 5 records i want okay so it will start from beginning and 5 records it will basically return as a single response okay so you will be getting 1 2 3 4 5 okay let me show you so in this particular url itself the offset and limit feature concept is there so that you can basically pass as query string here you can see in the base url after question mark here i have given underscore start equal to zero that is basically indicating our offset value and limit equal to five is basically indicating how many records i want to get at a single request okay so single request five record i want to get and i want to skip no record that means i am starting from beginning okay so let's see so if I just open a new tab and make the request, here you will see only 5 records, which are first 5 records. Here you can see ID 1, then ID 2, then here ID 3, then here ID 4, and here ID 5, okay? Only first 5 records I am getting. Now suppose you want to get next 5 records, okay? So these are total number of records out of that first 5 records already you got, okay? So next 5 records if you want to get, that means what? 6 to 10 you want to get, okay? So for that what you have to do? You have to skip the first five records, okay? Whatever you have extracted in the first iteration, okay? And limit value will be anyway same, that is five, because I want next five records in the next iteration. So limit value I'll be keeping same, but offset value initially it was zero, 
so i will basically keep our offset value this time to 5 okay why because that will indicate that i want to skip first five records and then i want to take next five records okay that is 6 to 10 i'll be getting so in this step two what we are doing to get next five records i am doing offset equal to offset plus limit because in the first iteration i have extracted five records five records is nothing but due to the limit we got five records if you are putting limit equal to 10 then we could get 10 records okay that time in the next iteration we will start our offset from 10 that means first 10 records we will be skipping like that right so in generalized way i can say offset equal to offset plus limit okay so offset become 5 because initially offset was 0 and limit value is anyway 5 so 0 plus 5 is 5 okay so in the next iteration in the next api call i will be keeping my offset 5 and limit 5 that is indicating i want to basically skip first 5 records because already we have extracted first 5 so it will start from 6 and then i want to get only 5 records next to it okay so 6 to 10 i will be getting here simple right and now how to make this request here you have to change the offset value to 5 and limit value to 5 earlier in the query string we kept offset 0 only this time the changes we are putting offset equal to 5 next time okay so let me just show you if i just paste this one and make it run here you will see that id is 6 id 7 id 8 id 9 and id 10 okay that is next five records i am getting similarly in the next iteration if i want to get next five records i will apply the same formula offset equal to offset plus limit that is 5 plus 5 which is 10 so that means i want to skip first 10 records so i will start from 11 and i want to get next five records that is 11 to 15 okay so if i am keeping offset equal to 10 and limit equal to 5 so i will be getting 11 to 15 and how to get the data just in the url in the query string we should be putting the offset value 10 with the underscore start this is our query string okay and this is basically dependent on api developer where you have to put the offset value where you have to put the limit value that basically api developer will share with you that there are a particular key value the api developer has built for this kind of pagination so that one only you have to use wisely okay in this context it is basically start and limit okay right so here if i just paste this one and make a run here we will be getting id 11 id 12 id 13 id 14 and id 15 okay that is next five records i am getting like that way chunk by chunk keep every time we can basically extract five records every time and like this way we can extract complete 5000 records okay right i hope you understood this now let's see how to implement this using program okay so here what i am doing here i am in my collab notebook this notebook i'll be sharing in the description box or in the comment section so that you can basically explore in your own way and play with it okay so first i am importing request that is required because we are going to make get request to that url to extract the items and then uuid i am basically importing this one we will be using to generate universally unique identifier okay why it is required i will be explaining you soon and import json so json.loads json.dumps we often use while working with json data right so obviously i am importing that and then as i have told you initially i will start with offset zero and limit value in this example i am keeping thousand okay so every time i want to extract thousand records okay in our source system total five thousand records are there so basically five iteration i have to make it is very simple right so i will be running this one and then every time whatever response we are getting for thousand records that we want to write in a particular folder okay so for that i am using mkdir command to create a folder in this particular place okay right so i will just do mkdir content and extracted data once that is done if i refresh here a empty folder extracted data is created and then this is the important part okay try to understand this because this is the main engine which is fetching the data and applying pagination okay while true that is infinite loop we are doing because we don't know how many times we have to iterate right so here we are putting url equal to we are putting the url only thing is offset value and limit value we are keep on changing in each iteration okay so i am using format to format the string and then here i am printing the url which is basically hitting in each iteration and then here i am using get method to fetch the response and then converting that to json okay right and now here is the interesting part how to understand that we no need to make further iteration that is the important part right so if you see 
each time whenever I am making a request using offset and limit, I am getting an array. Okay. So if we are reaching a situation where after making a certain offset value and limit value, we are getting empty array. That means all the objects we have extracted, right? So every time we are getting array. So to understand whether we need to further make an iteration or not, the simple approach is check the array length. If the array length is zero, that means you no need to make further iteration, right? The simple concept I have applied here, if length of data extracted is zero, that means I am breaking the infinite loop. Else what I am doing, I am creating a unique file name in this particular folder, okay? So content extracted data, this is the folder what we have created here. And then to give the unique file name, I am giving UUID, that unique identifier, whatever we have imported here, that one I have basically imported to generate a unique file name each time, okay? And then we want to save that as JSON data, right? We are opening the file name, we are dumping the response, whatever we have got. And for the next iteration, we are making offset equal to offset plus limit, okay? So initially offset is zero, limit is thousand. In the next iteration, offset is thousand. Basically, it will skip first thousand records because in the first iteration itself, it has extracted first thousand. So next thousand, it won't, right? So like that, it will be going, right? Simple. I will just run this particular code and see here, this is complete, okay? And if you see first time the URL, offset is zero, limit is thousand. Next time, offset is thousand, limit is thousand. That means it is keeping first thousand records and the next thousand records, it, it is basically extracting, okay? In the next iteration, offset became two thousand. Basically, it is, it is keeping first two thousand records and then next thousand it is extracting, okay? Because first two two thousand records already we extracted, like that it is going, okay? So if I go to this location, if I refresh in the extracted data in this particular folder, we will see the JSON data is coming with unique identifier name, okay? Now let me show you one interesting part that is chunk by chunk, whatever we have extracted, if we accumulate all of them and if we make a single request without offset and limit, that is you will be getting the complete 5000 records, right? These two overall are same. That is chunk by chunk, if you just accumulate all these files, the total number of items is exactly same as present here. Okay, that is total 5000, okay? So how I, I will show you? That is, I will show you basically using this website. What I will do, I will just go to this website. I will just go here. And here I can remove this complete stuff. And here I can select the complete response, okay? Without applying any offset and limit. And I will paste that here, right? And then here you can see one option, convert JSON to CSV. So I will just make a request and here we are basically getting JSON to CSV. So whatever data we are getting here, that data now in CSV available here, okay? So I will just select this complete record. I will go to notepad plus plus and I will paste this one, okay? So this is basically our CSV response, okay? Same in the website, whatever total items was there, we have basically taken that and what I can do, I can save this one, okay? So here I can go to desktop and I can give the name items processed total. Okay. Dot JSON I can save. Okay. And I can make a save. So here you can see that it is okay, it is coming as JSON, right? But actually, sorry, I have to save this as CSV. Sorry for that. Let me just save as CSV. items process total dot csv okay right so this is our csv data and what i will do now i will do a simple experiment i will upload the data here in my collab and i will do a subtraction okay using spark data frame and i will show you both data frame are same basically so here it is going to take some time to upload by that time what i am doing here here i am basically installing spark in my this collab okay so it is going to take some time and you can also see that here items process total CSV is also uploaded. So here I am creating this spark session. I am importing all functions and types and then what, what I am doing here, I am reading the data. Okay, df1 equal to spark.read.option multiline true to read the JSON data. We generally use this. Option infer schema is false. That's fine. And JSON, I am basically mentioning this particular folder. Okay, inside this folder, whatever files is there. 
this single data frame will be reading them okay right so first i am reading the data whatever our previous while loop where we have applied offset and limit concept whatever those have extracted that one we are reading in a single data frame okay right and next what i will do i will basically create a, another data frame df2 equal to spark dot read dot option i can put header true because here you can see in the csv data actually our header is there in the first row so to read this csv data i am putting header true in first key mask false is fine and then here i can give format csv dot and here instead of json i can give load so what i will do this is our overall response right i will just copy this path and i will paste that here right and here this is our second data frame okay df2 perfect right now here i can do df2 dot show to see the data here you can see album id id title url thumbnail okay album id id thumbnail title url okay so basically column order is not same i'll just make a same column order so here i can do df1 dot columns okay to get the column order for our first data frame and here what i will do df3 equal to df2 dot select here i can paste the order okay so basically i want to prepare another data frame where it is having the same column order as of our first data frame okay right so i will just do that df3 and now here in df3 basically the data is stored what we got overall overall 5000 records whatever we have got without applying offset and pagination and df1 is basically containing when we have applied offset and pagination okay because it is reading the data from that particular folder where we have written while using offset and pagination okay offset and limit concept right so here what i will do now i will show you both data same so df1 dot subtract df3 okay dot com okay so it will give us those records only which are present in df1 but not present in df3 see we are getting zero similarly i can show you df3 dot subtract df1 okay you should also get zero okay that will indicate the both the data frames are exactly stored keeping same records right so this way you can see that at a single shot when you are putting first 5000 records then whatever response we are getting which is basically stored in df3 that same one we are getting using this beautiful offset and pagination concept right so i hope you understood this and try to understand it in its importance okay maybe you are using aws lambda so to extract all 5000 records all together and processing them it might be a difficult process for you okay because it is having a limitation of time it, its maximum runtime can be 15 minutes okay and maybe if you are basically extracting whole 5000 records at a single shot then lambda might be having time out okay so that time you can use pagination concept not only that there are many apis where you are having this restriction that at a single shot you cannot extract more than this many number of records that time also you can use offset and limit concept okay in this particular api here without applying offset and limit also we are able to extract completely that's fine but i have just used this particular api to demonstrate you the concept of offset and limit which i hope is clear to you the code i will be providing in the description box or in the comment section just play with it have fun okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you